In the universe, there are billions of galaxies. In our galaxy, there are billions of planets, but there is only one Earth. This quote sums up exactly why we need to save Earth. Yes, there are other habitable planets in the galaxy, estimated around 300 million, but there will never be one like Earth. One th thing we can do to save the Earth is to help stop pollution. So let me tell you about the main types, air, hydro, and land. So let's start with air. Air pollution is caused by the presence in the atmosphere of toxic substances, mainly produced by human-made things. Even though it can result from natural disasters such as volcanic eruptions, dust storms, and wildfires. Toxic chemicals used in building materials, furnishings, art supplies, science materials, and other school supplies are causing air pollution as well. The effects. Long-term health effects from air pollution include heart disease, lung cancer, and more. Air pollution can also cause long-term damage to people's nerves, brain, kidneys, and other organs. Short-term effects, which are only temporary, include illnesses such as pneumonia. They also include discomfort such as irritation to the nose, throat, or eyes. Air pollution can also cause headaches, dizziness, and nausea. Millions of people every day make simple changes in their lives to lessen air pollution taking public transportation instead of driving a car, or riding a bike instead of traveling in carbon dioxide emitting vehicles are a couple of ways to reduce air pollution. Avoiding aerosol cans and not smoking are others. Yet, the most basic solution for air pollution is to get away from fossil fuels, replacing them with different energies like solar or wind. Land pollution can actually be caused by air pollution. It can also be caused by contamination of soil and compounds used in the environment. Water that isn't safe to drink also affects land pollution in various ways. Polluted soil, which leads to a loss of fertile land. Climate change, which causes a wave of disastrous problems including flash floods and irregular rainfalls. Global warming, acid rain, ozone depletion. Land that is once converted into dry or barren land can never be made fertile again. These affect and cause land pollution. Did you know 91% of the world's population are breathing in polluted air every day? Air pollution also contributes to the spread of COVID-19. To help land pollution, avoid buying packaged items as they will lead to creating garbage and end up in the landfill site. Are you one of the causes of land pollution? What do you think you can do to help stop pollution? Water pollution. It's also known as hydro pollution. I'm sir? you know that about 70% of the earth is water. However, a closer inspection of our water resources today gave us a terrible shock. Water is now infested with various wastes ranging from floating plastic bags to chemical waste, converting our water into a pool of poison. Water is polluted by both natural as well as human-made. Volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis are known to alter water and contaminate it, also affecting the ecosystems that exist underwater. Oil spills pose a huge threat to marine life when a large amount of oil spills into the sea and does not dissolve in water. It causes problems for local marine wildlife, including fish, birds, and sea otters. An increase in the Earth's temperature results in global warming due to the greenhouse effect. It increases the water temperature and results in the death of aquatic animals and marine species, which later results in water pollution. By 2050, ocean plastic will outweigh all of the ocean's fish. 70% of ocean garbage actually sinks to the sea floor, meaning we're unlikely to ever be able to clean it up. Imagine if everyone used plastic bags instead of reusable ones. What will happen to the earth in a few years? What would have happened to nature? Today, over 5 billion plastic bags have been produced. Stop. Look around. How many things can you see that are made out of plastic? Chairs? Cups? Even laminated things? We need to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Here are some ways we can do that. Throw away litter even if it isn't yours. Pick up discarded items and dispose of or recycle them properly. Turn off lights and electronic devices when they're not needed. Walk or ride a bicycle instead of taking a car. These help reduce our uses of things that affect our Earth, Earth and it might reduce pollution. Pollution is one of the worst ways for the Earth to die, since we, the human race, are a cause of it. It's death. The main pollution that has the most effect is air. I did say that pollution can be created by natural disasters, but it's still us who do the most damage. So, help the earth and reduce, reuse, and recycle. And remember, in the universe there are billions of galaxies, and the galaxies are billions of planets. 
but there is only one Earth.